once in a lifetime. They had a big elaborate setting in a coffin, and they had two candlesticks with real candles. Good evening. Comes a television debut. And I could see the people in the control room were sort of looking out and their eyes were getting big like dinner plates. And I'm thinking, boy, they're really liking what I'm talking. This is going over real good. It's time now for our weekly trip into the supernatural. That is so powerful. And then I noticed that the crew was standing around and the people behind the camera were looking around and their eyes were getting like dinner plates. Your host, the Bowman Bond. It ignites an entire generation. I thought, boy, this really is going better than I thought it would. But Richmond ain't bad. I had backed into the candles and my cape was going up in flames. Well, hi there, horror movie fans. Of all the various horror movie hosts that I've seen, I've never seen anybody that had a more unique character than Bill did. Tales of Terror, it's fantastic, it's stupendous. Sort of like a, a horror host version of Hee Haw. It, it was a real good time, you never knew what to expect. Now, no, wait a minute, now, well, no, well, here's the thing. The, the show was actually beating, beating Johnny Carson in the ratings on Friday night. You remember that fine motion picture we ran last week? This week's is even worse. Bill became sort of like a cult figure. The, the special surprise guest was the Bowman body. It's the Bowman body, it's the Bowman body. And he's going, yeah, yeah, calm down, Brad, it's okay. I said, but you don't understand, this is the Bowman body doing the monster mash. Just how crazy these 20 and 30 somethings were about being that close to Bill Bowman. I mean, it was as though they were at a concert and the biggest superstar in the world stepped off, shook their hand, and took a picture with them. I mean, I've been to NASCAR events where people weren't nearly as excited about meeting their favorite driver as people were to get to step up and shake Bill's hand. Bill Bowman could run for mayor of this town, and there would be a large contingent of people that would vote for him just because he was the Bowman body. Yeah, yeah. To this day, we still get calls about the Bowman body. Bowman sleeping in the casket. Bowman in a bit of plastic. At the end of the commercial, he says, you really ought to buy a, a, a rifle if you're going to go hunting Bowman. And I said it probably would be better than chasing the animals around the woods trying to stab them. <laughs>